everyone, this is Jasek and today's tutorial will be about using normals to align your view to the geometry. Uh, this is a very useful thing as you will see in a second. I'm just gonna create some geometry and rotate it completely random along all the axes. Okay, uh, so basically in Blender you have a few pre pre predefined views, which is a front view, top side view, top view, okay? And it's very, very useful uh, as long as you your model is uh, created and aligned uh, towards the global axis. In this case, mm, you will actually have some problems trying to look at the side of it or whatever, and mm, sometimes you need it to uh, retain the complainer uh, characteristics of the faces and so on and so forth. Uh, so, uh, there's a mm, couple of different views that not many people use. Uh, you can access them by hitting uh, numpad 4 and numpad 6, also 8 and 2. Uh, and this is rotating your viewport by exactly 15 degrees, mm, which is helpful in some cases, although uh, in case of a randomly mm, rotated geometry like this one, it will serve you no good. So, um, if you are about to create some geometry on this face, you will be either forced to use the tools like insert or bevel, bevel, uh, or you can use the normal properties of the, the edges, uh, which is going to be quite nice. Although, if you're trying to access normal properties of the vertices, is going to be a little bit more complicated. Now, um, if you could align yourself uh, exactly al along the normal of the z-axis of this face, you could actually use something that is called the view transformation. Uh, and use it to try and move those vertices. Now, in this case, uh, the snapping works, which is also a very nice thing. So, if you go GYY and snap it here, uh, it works nice. Although, mm, in this case, I uh, don't think it's going to be visible on your screens, but uh, you, I can see clearly that uh, the shading of this face is already whacked a little, okay? I can see the outline of the geometry, so that means I didn't actually uh, get the right angle in my viewport. Uh, and, well, it's annoying in some cases, so I took a time to cre to figure out how to, how to uh, work over those uh, issues. So, uh, if you go Shift and Numpad 7, you can go to the uh, custom viewport, which is uh, dictated by the normals of the selection. So, uh, this face obviously has a Y, X and Z normal. Uh, by hitting Shift F, uh, s uh, Shift number 7, you are uh, aligning yourself, uh, looking exactly towards the Z normal of the face. Uh, this is, it's similar in case of uh, uh, Shift 1, okay? Now, now we're looking at the... Mm, which normal? Uh, now we're looking at the Y normal and shift uh, number 3 and we're looking at the X now. Okay, mm, so let's go back to our view and right now we can easily uh, create a geometry and start moving it around, okay, by going into the local view again and now we can go G local. Uh, no, sorry, not local view. Uh, now we can go GYY, okay, uh, and also the vertices still have those nice properties, so we can use, uh, let's say, snapping, okay, and for specialty. We can also use the knife project tool to create some additional mm, more complicated shapes. Uh, let's say we are going to cut the circle in the middle here. Uh, so let's add one. And as you can obviously see, the circle was added in the global parameters. Uh, but we can quickly change it to the view by hitting Align to View button. Okay? So let's scale it down. Let's create a face here and use, again, use the normals 
we can move it in front of our mesh. Let's scale it down again. Now let's go to the selected view of this face. Okay, let's say I want the circle to be about here. Let's separate it and now we can use the knife project tool which will give us a face that is still perfectly coplanar with the geometry we already have. Okay, uh, that's about it for now and see you soon. Goodbye.